Oh man, I can see everything from up here. Um, from up where? <laughs> hey, Caleb. You know, I was just uh, pretending to be Batman in his cape glider. And how was it? You know, pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna go for round two, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I'm Josh. And I'm Caleb. We've also got with us today the Bat Computer, Penny One. Greetings. And welcome to Batman Science Lab, the place where we test the science behind Batman's cool crime fighting technology. We've been learning all about his tech. As members of the Night Watch, Penny One's new program where people like you and me from all over the world get to practice honing our own skills to be everyday heroes. That's right. If you haven't figured it out yet, Today's episode is all about Batman's cape glider. Now, yes, gliders are used all around the world for fun, for sport. However, Batman's cape glider is in a league all of its own. Hey, Penny One, can you tell us what Batman uses his cape glider for? Striking fear into the hearts of criminals far and wide, Batman's cape is essential to maintaining his intimidating image. But it is not just a fashion statement. This cape holds many secret features, and can act as a weapon, a shield, a means of transportation, and more. He relies on it to weave in between buildings, make quick getaways, or smoothly avoid dangerous falls amidst rooftop battles. Thank you so much, Penny One. Now, the question is, do you know how Batman's cape glider flies? Hmm, gliders don't usually have engines. Does it have something to do with the wind? Oof, that's such a great start. Yes, the motion of air and how it moves with the object is a huge factor, as well as a bunch of other forces and properties that act on the glider while it's in the air. Two of these factors are lift and weight. Now, there are a bunch of different theories about how planes and gliders stay in the air, but the most basic principle is that lift is a force that is created while the object is moving through the air. So, lift pushes up on the wings, right? Exactly. However, maintaining lift is super tricky. There are a bunch of different things to consider when you're in the air. If the glider is too heavy or too light or the wings are too short or too long, you won't be able to fly through Gotham as easily. Now, Kayla, are you ready to start thinking like Batman? Always. Welcome to our flight testing facility. Here, we have three different gliders with varying dimensions. And we're gonna see which glider makes the best combination for Batman here. Exactly, and we're gonna be using Batman to help us measure the body of our glider since he's the body of his glider. Let's get to it with our first glider. All right, glider number one. Mm -hmm. This one has a large body and short wings. Let's see how long he is compared to Batman. So Batman's roughly about 12 inches. Let's add a couple more. All right, Mr. Caleb, we have 18 and a half inches for the body. Got it, 18 and a half. Okay, let's measure the wingspan. Wingspan from point to point. That's gonna be, well, 12 inches right across the board. Oh yeah. All right, so definitely shorter. Yeah, okay. Let's give her a nice little way. Wow, a whopping 35 grams for the wow. first glider. That's a heavy, heavy, heavy glider. What's your predictions for our test? Well, I had to say, with the data in hand, mm -hmm. I think this one might not fly too well because Small wings, large body, so I'm not sure if they'll be able to catch enough lift. That's true. But let's find out. All right, we're here with our flight test. Let's start with glider number one. Glider one. Large body, short wings. Let's see, let's see how it goes. All right, I have a good feeling about this. Let's see what happens. All right. All right, please clear the area. Three, two, one, take off. There it goes. Oh, no, dive. Bounce right back. <laughs> That's Jeez, not a landing I'd that, want. No, mm-mm, that, that's harsh. All right, you let's ready? Go. Ooh, not too far. Let's see, where are we at? We have nine feet and two inches. Nine not feet, bad, two not inches. bad. Okay, I like it. Bring it on in. All right. Let's move on to glider two. You notice anything different, Caleb? This one has small body, large wings. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Let's compare them to Batman. So Batman is clearly taller. That's exactly 11 and a half inches for the 11 body. 11 and a half. Now we're gonna measure the wingspan. Oh, snap, the wingspan looks to be a little longer. Woo, a whopping 19 inch wingspan. 19, 19 inch. 19 inch, okay. And now for the weighing. 
Ooh, 25 grams. All right. Mm, 25. Little, little Not white too fella. bad. Not bad at all. All right, so reverse now from the first one. We have long wings and a super light body. My estimate is that it will go pretty far. Right, I think yeah. with the long wings would give it some advantage, but yeah. we're gonna have to test that out. You ready mm -hmm. to throw some gliders around? Oh yeah. Give me some. Ground control, ground control, taking off on flight three, two, one. All right. Hey, that's okay. pretty cool. Not so much a crash landing, more like a bounce landing. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that too. Alrighty. All righty. And go. How far we got? And let's see. Hey, it's 10 feet and five inches. 10 feet, five inches. Yeah. All right, a little further. Yeah, a little further. Let's go on to the last and final glider. All right. Any observations about this one? Looks pretty proportionate. Yeah, all mm -hmm. right. Let's see how it measures up. All right. Well, let's measure the body, all see right. where we're at. All right, so we got Batman, 12 inches. We're gonna use the additional ruler. So we got about 15 and a half inches for the body. Okay. All right, Batman, you could just chill here. Thank you, sir. Now for the wingspan, we're gonna measure across. 15 and a half inch wingspan. Wow, exactly the same, exactly. proportionate. You nailed it. They are super proportionate. Let's try the weight. 22 grams. Pretty okay, good. Yeah, Pretty good. so all around equal wingspan and body mm. length. How do you think this is gonna fly? I think this might go a little bit less far as glider number two, because that one clearly has the wingspan to catch the lip. But okay. like I keep saying, let's find out. Yeah, all right, <laughs> let's do it. All right. Let's see where it goes. Count me off. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. That one really took off. All right. You got to run far this time, buddy. I'm sorry. All right. Here we go. All right. So let's see. Whoa, we're at 22 feet. 22 feet. What? I said, why don't you come back? Sure. Come all the way back here. I'll see you next year go. when you get here. Ooh, all right. Man, this thing's good. Isn't it? Okay. All right, so let's, let's, let's talk about compile it. Compile the data, shall we? All right, first glider, if first you First glider, yes, coming right up. This one had a large body, short wings. Mm -hmm. This one bounced back when it landed and it didn't go very far. Can you tell me why? Well, that's because lift wasn't able to act enough on the wings. So because it was disproportionate, that took the nose dive, as you can see, it was too heavy. Lift was unable to act on it, so mm -hmm. kind of bombed, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Bing. All right. Next on the list. Glider two. All right. That one had a short body, long wings. Yep. Now you would think this would have good lift, but when you threw it, it kind of didn't go too well. It flew pretty far, but when it landed and when it was in the air, it didn't fly too well. No, that's because the lift acted way too much. There was not mm -hmm. enough weight from the body to counteract the lift. Two big wings in Gotham City, all those skyscrapers. Team. <laughs> Gotta be hard to manipulate. I mean, you're just asking for it. Oh, exactly. All, all right. right. Glider three, our winner. All right, exactly, 22 feet. Not bad. What's the difference here, Caleb? All right, so it has the same length for both the body and wings. When you threw it, it glided through the air. And right. And it didn't land like, poof, poof, bam, crash. Perfect. It landed smoothly and it was perfectly balanced. Yeah, exactly. I mean, again, the wings are super duper proportionate to the body, which is the ideal way to mm -hmm. deal with lift. Looks like we found the perfect proportions to Batman's cape glider. Mm -hmm. Give me some. Boom. That was so fun. <laughs> I want to do experiments like this all the time. You know what? I think Batman had some fun too. Now, what did we learn today? Wingspan makes a big difference, but so does the length of your glider's body. Depending on what the glider is being used for, you can adjust the length, weight, and wingspan to get the best flight. My dude, you're already an aerodynamics expert just like Batman. And he'd be so proud. <laughs> Now, every time I fly on an airplane, I'll imagine that I'm Batman on his glider. That sounds like a fun idea. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in to Batman Science Lab. You can find more awesome Batman content on the DC Kids channel. See you next time. Wait a second. Caleb, I just had a great idea. Let's go make a giant glider. Oh yeah. Let's go.